Hey look, a mid-2007 MacBook. Hey look, Debian install media. Hey look, Debian on a mid-2007 MacBook. Side note, I downloaded the multi-architecture build of Debian because although the mid-2007 MacBook has a 64-bit CPU, Apple made the genius move of making it only support 32-bit bootloaders. And the reason it's on a CD is because although the mid-2007 MacBook has USB 2.0, Apple made the genius move of not supporting USB booting since you can always just use a CD. The installer is extremely slow, but to my surprise, Wi-Fi worked out of the box. I did use the non-free version, though, just in case. I opted to install the LSQT desktop environment since it's nice and light, but this machine would probably work fine with something a little fancier. The boot time was fairly quick. Not insane, but comparable to when it had macOS. Once logged in, I installed NeoFetch, of course. Firefox ran surprisingly well. Unsurprisingly, Oak Clicker slowed it down to a crawl. YouTube playback was choppy at 480p and straight up didn't work at higher resolutions, and the trackpad was a little hard to maneuver due to its low precision. But tap clicking, including two finger tap to right click, works, unlike on macOS. MacOS Snow Leopard, at least. The volume and backlight keys on the keyboard worked after switching the keyboard layout to MacBook. I tried to install OBS to do some screen recordings, but it didn't work. I ended up installing Simple Screen Recorder instead. LightXL ran great on that thing. Surprisingly, so did Super Tux Cart, albeit on the second lowest graphics setting. I couldn't screen record it though, so here's a video. Pretty cool, right? So, daily driver. Maybe. It was actually totally usable as long as the web apps you're using are small and light. Even monkey type, which is a big JavaScript bundle, worked just fine. Just not anything crazy like Oat Clicker. And I also noticed that the screen doesn't turn off when you close the lid, so you will have to manually suspend it if you are actually daily driving. I also am not doing it because it's not actually my laptop. It's my mom's, and she would never let me, and also it doesn't have a battery, so yeah. Thanks for watching this really cool, surprisingly short video about installing Debian on a 2007 MacBook. Hopefully, you'll get your regularly scheduled programming content soon. And remember, fire exits are a scam, and you might as well just give up as soon as the alarm goes off.